Hey Team Yellow, we're here to talk to you all today about the new 2023 Babylon Pure Aero Rafa in Rafa Origin. Uh, this was actually our first play test this year outdoors. We finally had relatively good weather in Cincinnati, Ohio here and the sun absolutely made these colors on this new updated cosmetic absolutely just pop. The first thing I always like to take note of is the, the updated in cosmetic that these new racket manufacturers come out with. Uh, Rafael Nadal, the king of clay himself, actually helped design uh, some of the new updates to the racket and I always kind of like to think the black and yellow is the, the classic Babylon Pure Aero look. It's also Tennis Points colors, which is uh, kind of a nice little call out there. And it transitions into some of the more Rafa-esque uh, bright yellow and blue and pink highlighter colors that we've known to see him uh, wear on the court all throughout his career. So um, we just got back from the courts play testing this. So Claire here is going to tell you a little bit how the play test went, as well as some of the specs on these two rackets. Yeah, so we've got two rackets here. We have the Rafa and the Rafa Origin. They're both 100 square inch size head and then they have a 16 by 19 stringing pattern. The only difference is the weight. So the Rafa one is going to be 10.2 ounces unstrung. So it's around 10.8 with the string. And then the Rafa Origin is going to be pretty heavy at 11.2 ounces strong with 11.8 with the string. Um, overall, I thought it played really well. I definitely needed a dampener because I felt like my balls were sailing without one. Um, after a couple shots though, I was really able to feel the ball and it's definitely a spin racket. So if you can really whip it, you can place it really well. Um, but yeah, it was a little tough outside with the wind and everything, <laughs> but we adjusted and overall I thought it was a great racket. The Rafa Origin was a tad bit heavy for me though, so I would definitely prefer the Rafa. What'd you think? Yeah, so kind of to Claire's point, the, the wind out there is always d difficult to deal with here in the springtime with the changing of seasons. Uh, I, I almost kind of felt like some of those off-centered shots where I'm off my back foot or taking a really high topspin ball, I felt like those almost felt more natural and smoother and more just plush at impact overall rather than a ball that I'm able to, you know, take my time and, and you know, step into the court. But again, that wind just kind of kept moving it and, and handcuffing me and jamming me in the body. But as for some of the technology, the uh, aero modular and the FSI spin, which is the uh, frame string interaction spin technology, both of those are still the same in these new rackets. Both of those technologies just really aid in giving you easier access to spin and really allowing you to connect with the ball. That FSI spin uh, is complemented with the woofer system, which is really the first technology of its kind that's been in the Babylon uh, family for you know the last couple of decades. Uh, really just overall increase, increases the overall dwell time on the string bed with really just how long the ball is sitting on the strings and allows you to just make this racket a complete spin demon. Um, what was interesting though is the Cortex Pure Feel is a technology, it's a dampening technology that Babla actually chose to remove from these rackets. So me, myself, I don't play with a dampener at all. So this is probably the least forgiving racket I've ever played with. And I, I found that my favorite shot was actually choking up kind of like Rafa does on his backhand slice. He almost has like a good inch or two hanging off the bottom of, of his uh, front on uh, his handle. Uh, and really just driving through that, was able to get a lot of depth, especially hitting right in the middle of the sweet spot. Just felt really, really connected to the ball. Uh, a few of the other um, kind of just little tidbits and specs on the rackets that are a little bit different. Obviously the Rafa is a little bit lighter as Claire mentioned, so that's much better for maneuverability when you're running around the court, chasing down balls. Uh, both rackets are a little bit stiffer. The stiffness rating came in at about 73 on the new frames where the previous model was 67. And there is a little bit uh, wider string spacing. So that, again, that's just gonna give you much easier access to spin overall as this is um, predominantly a spin racket since we've all seen what Rafael Nadal can do with this racket in his hand. So overall, the play test went great. I've never played with the Pure Arrow, but I would definitely highly recommend checking it out. But we're gonna go jump over to uh, check in with Nate, our brand manager, and see how the play test went for him. Hey, what's up guys, it's Nate. I wanted to just come in here and tap in on my thoughts on the new Pure Arrow Ralpha. Really cool colorway as it comes out, as well as the first Rafa racket that has its own individual specs. It's actually specced out to the exact same specs that Rafa uses with his stick. AP had to put in the RPM Blast 15 now at 55 pounds. The same setup as, as the King has. Uh, obviously, I grew up a Rafa fan, been my favorite player, one of my favorite athletes of all time. Been using the Pure Arrow since I was like 10 years old. So it was awesome to get out there, try out these awesome rackets. Uh, first feedback for me was, uh, this is a 10.2 ounce racket, the lighter version, and then his racket is actually 11.2 ounces, 300, and, uh, what did you say, 34 grams? Three, yeah, 317 strong, unstrung, 334 strong. Which is crazy, so you really feel that weight. Uh, this is actually a quarter size grip, so I really felt like the racket was uh, flipping over the ball very easily. But guys, this racket was, I mean, it's a power stick. I mean, it's power spin, um, a lot of stability at, at impact, and I, I like testing out both of them. I mean, 
preferably I like the lighter racket just to get a little more swing speed, a little more whip on it. But I feel like I had a little more control and a little more um, better ability to dominate the ball at impact with the uh, heavier frame. Yeah, well, there you guys have it. This is the new 2023 Babylon Pure Aero Rafa. Stay tuned for the bag review video that we got coming out. There's an awesome bag that complements this amazing racket. And also be sure to stay tuned on our other social channels as this is the man behind all the action with our grassroots tour. So stay tuned and see if we're coming to some courts near you. Thanks so much, guys. Advantage you.